Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL580 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I just want a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL580 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video will be specifically dedicated to drives. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we are gonna go over the different types of compatible drives. We're gonna go over the max speeds, the max sizes. Then we're gonna show you how to install them, which is super easy because they're hot plug-in. And then at the end, we're gonna show you a cool tool that we like called HD Sentinel that is used to test the power on hours and the health score for your, for your drives. Let's hop in. So what are the compatible interfaces? Well, there are five interfaces that are gonna be compatible with the DL580 Gen 9 server. You can have a SATA hard drive, a SAS hard drive, a SATA solid state drive, a SAS solid state drive, or an NVMe solid state drive. But I did wanna note with the NVMe solid state drives, you do need to have an express bay kit in order to have NVMe be enabled. All right, so what speeds are compatible? Well, for a SATA hard drive, your speeds are gonna be 7.2K RPM. That's really the only speed you're gonna get for SATA hard drives. Whereas with SAS, it is gonna be faster. You can still get 7.2K or you can get 10K or 15K. And I do wanna note, especially since this is an older machine, that if you are using used SAS hard drives, they're spinning around 10 to 15,000 times per minute. The ball bearings are gonna wear out over time and they are known to fail. I would keep a spare on hand or if it's been three to five years, you might wanna look into upgrading to an SSD. Not only will you get better performance, but you have a less chance of it failing and it's always something I always point out with SAS hard drives because they are prone to fail. Um, all right, so now for SATA solid state drives, you can get six gigabit per second. For SAS, you can get 12 gigabit per second. And for NVMe, you can also get 12 gigabit per second. So those are gonna be your different speeds. So what are the max sizes? For a SATA hard drive, it's two terabytes. For a SAS hard drive, it's 2.4 terabytes. For a SATA solid state drive, the spec sheet will show is 3.84 terabytes. We've played around and we've put in 7.68 terabytes. If you've put in anything higher, do a favor, drop a comment down below, whether that's for this drive or any of the other drives. Uh, for a SAS uh, solid state drive, it's 15.36 terabytes. And for an NVMe solid state drive, the spec sheet will show 1.92 terabytes. We've played around and we've put in 15.36 as well for NVMe drives. So again, the spec sheet is a little bit outdated, which is one of the reasons we wanted to do this video was to give a refresh for an older machine to let people know what you can actually install nowadays. All right, well, now that we know a little bit more about the sizes, the speeds, the compatible types, let's show you how to install them. All right, have my ESD gear on, we're safe to work on our machine. So we're gonna remove our old hard drive first because we're upgrading it to a solid state drive. You're just gonna push the red square. The caddy's gonna open up and we're just gonna pull our old drive out. And this is an old 146-15K SAS. Great little boot drive, uh, nothing special. All right, so I'll show you just how easy this is to install. So we're just gonna slide this right in. When it gets to this point, you're just gonna click it into place. And that's it, that's how easy it is to, to do an upgrade. It is by far one of the easiest upgrades and one of the things that's gonna boost the performance on an older machine like this the most. We always tell people upgrade your solid state drives and upgrade your memory or upgrade two solid state drives and get more memory as a whole. And that'll give you a little bit of band-aid to extend the life of a Gen 9 server for just a few more years. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to test with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now. And as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software like i said lots of information it'll give you health scores of the drives as you can see the two we have up top they have a hundred percent health score while the one at the bottom has a 99 percent so all pretty good so I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloud ninjas.com. Sales at cloud ninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.